What's going on, everyone? So LeBron James is ready to set sail on his 21st NBA season, which is ridiculous to even think about. And it seems like yesterday he uh, was entering the league as this huge touted prospect, and now he's in his 21st season. Crazy to think about. But he's also 39 years old, and he luckily is on a very deep, talented roster. And I've mentioned this before, I really do believe that LeBron James is going to kind of coast throughout the course of this season. I do think he plays 65 games just because I think he's going to want to qualify for a lot of those accolades and stuff like that. Um, he's going to want to keep a lot of records and stuff intact. And so I do believe that he does try to, to play 65 games. Thus, he kind of just coasts throughout the regular season so he can keep his body right. And luckily, this roster is deep enough and talented enough to do so. He's still going to get his 20 a game because it's LeBron James. And just like we saw last year, you know, he'd have like four points at halftime. And then you look up and he finishes the game with like 28. And you're like, he really scored 24 points in the second half? And it's like, yeah, he just scored in bunches. But LeBron James cannot handle the workload anymore, right? Like that was a big problem last year. If LeBron James was healthy... That Denver series might have been a completely different Denver series because the LeBron James we had pre-injury looked like LeBron James. I mean, the guy was like 38 and eight at like 38 years old in year 20. And he just kind of was chasing the scoring title because because the Lakers were terrible. So it was like, what else do I have going for me right now? I might as well just go try to get this accolade. He ends up getting it. He ends up hurting his foot and he just was never the same after that. So now it's like every year he's hurt for the Lakers and he's only getting older and there's a real concern about just him holding up. Now, this is a guy that is insanely conditioned, that spends a ridiculous amount of money on, I mean, he spends more money on his body than people will make in their entire lifetime. So this is a guy that I don't really have too much concern for compared to other players and stuff like that. But it's still a big ask. And so this is something LeBron's been trying to do for some time, and that is have Anthony Davis take the reins. Be the guy. And look, it's hard for LeBron at times to kind of just take a step back. And, you know, he, he's still, the, a lot of the basketball goes through him. Uh, that, I imagine, will still be the case on occasion and a fair amount throughout the course of the season. But he showed the willingness inability to take a step back, right? You saw him kind of relegate and allow like guys like Austin Reeves to shine or Rui Hachimura to shine and stuff like that and kind of played more off the ball. He has repeatedly said he wants to play that type of role where he's playing off the ball more. He's not so ball dominant. He's, he's not a guy that has to do and handle the workload. And we need Anthony Davis to be the, the undoubted number one option, right? Anthony Davis is about to get a new extension. All the reports have came out and said like they're going to give it to him right before training camp starts, so he's locked up and ready to go. The reason the Lakers got him was because he was a perfect sort of 1A, 1B next to LeBron James, arguably the best fitting big man, maybe even the best fitting player that LeBron James could have by his side, and a guy that could be a number one option and be the guy that is the franchise player when LeBron leaves. And in 2020, Anthony Davis absolutely looked like that. Anthony Davis undoubtedly looked like that guy. And and I look, I've said this, and I fully stick by this. If we get bubble Anthony Davis this year, and he plays that way through the playoffs, there's not a single team in the league that's beaten this Lakers team in seven games. There's not. If we get... 2020 Anthony Davis, dominant, arguably best player on the planet, Anthony Davis. Nobody has beaten this Lakers team with as deep, talented, sizable, and you have LeBron James as basically your second best player. The Lakers are winning the championship, right? So can Anthony Davis be that? Can Anthony Davis stay healthy was another big question. And he did a really good job of proving that this postseason. And, you know, teams really kind of honed in on him and try to make things difficult. I mean, how many times do we see him get double, triple teamed? And we've seen the ability of Anthony Davis. When Anthony Davis is on and he's locked in and focused, he is he's the best player in the world. 
I mean, the, the impact he has on both sides of the basketball is unlike anything else. He was the best defensive player in the league last year from every metric. And he led the league in 30 and 15 games. He also led the league in 35 and 15 games while also being the best defensive player in the league by every metric. Like, this is a guy that impacts the game unlike anything we've ever seen when he is on. Like, when he is playing to the best of his ability, there are very few players in the history of this game that come close. Him being, you know, 7 feet, 6'11", or whatever, a guy that can basically score at all three levels, can completely shut down an offense defensively by himself. Like, the Lakers go from one of the worst defensive teams in the league to, uh, well, last year with the old roster, right? Let me clarify. With the older roster. The Lakers were one of the worst defensive teams in the league without Anthony Davis. And when Anthony Davis was on, they were literally middle of the pack. Anthony Davis basically takes the Lakers from like a, a top five worst defense and makes them like a top 10 defense. That's how good defensively he is. The dude is unlike anything we've seen defensively. And it's just the offense. Can that come together? It's like he's completely forgot how to shoot the basketball. He wants to play the four spot more and the Lakers have made it abundantly clear that they're going to give him that opportunity to play the four spot. The problem is he can't if he can't shoot the basketball. Like the problem hasn't been that it's like, oh, like we should just never play him at the four. It's just he's best at the five because he can't shoot the ball no more. Right? And if he's shooting 28% from three and he's shooting, you know, 40% from the mid-range, well then the guy's gonna be the, the guy's gonna be really hard to to go and generate a bucket. But when he's around the rim and he's shooting, you know, sixty percent there, it's like we'll move him to the center and just dump the ball down to him and let him go to work. And there you go. There's his twenty five a game, right? Like we need a dominant, established Anthony Davis. I'm not saying he has to go out there and be a forty twenty twenty guy or anything like that. But he needs to be the clear cut number one player. He needs to be night in and night out the best player on the court or arguably the best player on the court, you know, if you're going up against a Milwaukee or something like that, right? Like if it's the AD Giannis campaign, you need to see Anthony Davis at least be comparable, right? Like you see these games and it's like, you know, the the running trend was like Anthony Davis, like he's inconsistent. One game he's 30, 10, 5, 5, 3, and 2, and you're like, Wow. And then the next game, he's like five, 12 rebounds, you know, two assists, two blocks, a steal. Like, it's just, you need the offensive consistency. Now, again, teams, especially in the playoffs, were really locked in on him. That time that LeBron was out, Anthony Davis did a great job carrying us. I mean, there was like a two, three week stretch where Anthony Davis was far and away the best player in the league. I mean, he had that stretch where it was just, he was otherworldly. If we can get that during the playoffs, especially, nobody is beating this Lakers team. Nobody. Teams were having a hard time beating Anthony Davis when he it was him and a bunch of like six foot guys, right? Like imagine teams trying to beat this that Anthony Davis with a bunch of six, eight guys, you know, and more chemistry and just everything, right? Like, this is Anthony Davis's moment. This is it. Like, this is a real defining season for him. Because the Lakers have the talent. They have the size. They have the skill set. LeBron James is at the age and at the, the point in his career where he would very likely love to let somebody else take the reins and be the guy. And... Anthony Davis needs to come in and establish himself as that. He needs to establish himself as this is my team. This is my organization. You know, LeBron, this could be LeBron James last year. It can't. It very likely could be. Now, if the Lakers win the championship or come really close and are like a piece away, I think LeBron kind of gives it another go. Like, let's say the Lakers make it to the finals, but they lose in like, a tough six or seven, I can see LeBron definitely coming back and being like, all right, let's go get that missing piece and go try to win a championship. But, you know, if the Lakers are like a first or second round exit, LeBron might end up leaving. And even if he doesn't leave next year, right? Let's say he does stick it out for another year. 
sooner or later he's he's either going to retire or play with his son although you know we'll we'll see what happens with that you know prayers up to Bronny um really unfortunate what happened but you know it's good to hear that he's doing better and he seems to be getting fine um you know don't want to dive into that too much because there's enough attention on that you know and I kind of want to like you know let Bronny and his family and stuff like that let let them figure it out you know um but he's in our thoughts right you know and uh whatever ends up happening right if he ends up does end up coming to the league then there's always the potential that LeBron James goes and leaves and play with him and if that happens we're gonna need Anthony Davis to be the guy right because we're not gonna have another star unless somebody else develops into a star Right now, Austin Reeves, I think, could be is going to be a very good, fine player, but I don't think he's the second or first best player on the cha- on a championship roster. Right, I think if he's your third guy, you're 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 looking really good. Right, but I think you need that other star. So if Anthony Davis can come in and be that guy that can just basically be the equivalent of two stars. And then we have just this deep, talented, versatile, just monstrous roster around him. The Lakers are going to be very good, very good for a long time. But it's time, it's time for Anthony Davis to kind of start putting that into gear, start heading in that direction. And hopefully he does. I really do. I hope that he does. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think that's what he does? Do you think this is the year that he kind of like gets back 2020 Anthony Davis? Do you think, no, that's just, that was kind of more of an anomaly than anything else? Uh, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below.